Welcome back, everybody. I get questions about this topic all the time, so we're going to go ahead and dedicate a video to it. Shouldn't be that long, but we're going to explain uh, why I set my sights up the way I do and then different options for setting your backup iron sights, uh, setting them up on your rifle. So almost always, unless there's a specific reason why I'm not going to do it, I'll leave my front flipped up, or if I have an A2 sight, obviously I'll just leave it, um, and my back down. Now, reason for that is uh, whether you're using a micro dot, a aim point comp M4 like we have here at EOTech, whatever the case may be, in the event that your optics should go down for whatever reason, your battery dies, uh, the glass cracks, whatever, uh, it goes down. In that, in that event, you can use your whatever your red dot sight is as sort of a gigantic ghost ring sight and still shoot with your front sight. Is it accurate? Hell no, it's not. But within, you know, home defense distance, for example, it's plenty accurate. Now, I would say you could probably, if you are familiar with it and have consistent head position, probably shoot four or five inch groups at 25 yards with it like that. So with no optic on there. So we'll turn our aim point off here. And uh, the optic is completely off at this point. We have a target down range at 60 meters. Uh, you guys can see it down there. And uh, I'm gonna try to take some shots on it using just the Magpul uh, front sight and using this as sort of a gigantic ghost string like we just talked about. Let me step uh, to the side so you guys can actually see the target and show you what we mean. So certainly you're absolutely able to get hits like that um, even with it all the way down. I mean, you can turn it back on obviously at this point. So. That's one option. That's kind of what I prefer. It's sort of my default. It keeps the rear sight from cluttering up your sight picture. Now, let's talk about that option. Um, some people really like to keep both of them up and use like a lower one-third co-witness where the dot is just above the plane of your iron sights. Totally fine. That's really cool. If you like that setup, do it. Uh, me personally, I think it sort of busies up my uh, sight picture. Personal preference there, but by all means, that's probably the most... Uh, accurate should you need to switch to it should you need to switch your iron sights if your optic goes down that definitely is the most accurate now the way i do it sort of a balance and some people like to keep them both down to keep the cleanest sight picture possible so they say some folks say that it gives you a um, little bit more situational awareness uh being able to sort of look through everything okay <laughs> if that works for you i don't find it to be that way i just like my front sight up like i talked about and should we need to take quick shots uh, use this as a ghost ring and then of course if there's a low in the fight or if you have an opportunity by all means take your rear sight flip it up or if you can also uh, drop your uh, optic completely out of there and switch straight to irons if you have some sort of quick detached system so that's sort of the principle behind it that's why i do it those are different options for you to do it really in my opinion you just have to experiment and see what you like best what you prefer i think um because i sort of started out with the a2 front sight that's just what I'm used to. I've always been used to it. it. I don't even see the sight at all. When I pull up this rifle to my shoulder, I don't see that sight. It's there, of course, unless I focus on it. So uh, that's just sort of how I do it. I hope that answers the question that many of you guys ask me all the time. Uh, if you have any other questions, any more details that you need about the topic, by all means, post below in the comments section. But uh, you can also post over at my Facebook page as always. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. And I hope to see you in the next video.